Christmas edition. Um, it might seem a bit early, but I don't think it is. We're going into full on Christmas content. It's not gonna all be Christmas content, but I wanna sprinkle some in here and there. So it's actually 70 degrees outside and I have my Christmas mug, um, a Christmas pajama top, some socks, and I couldn't find a Santa hat. So I went with this beanie, but I just wanted to get in the Christmas spirit. I put up some decor for you guys. Um, we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my Christmas wish list for 2020. I take a lot of thought. I put a lot of thought into my Christmas wish list each year just because I want it to be things that I'll love, that I'll enjoy for years to come and just products that I typically wouldn't buy myself. So, of course, I'm not, I don't expect gifts or anything, just we love to do presents with each other. I don't expect any of these things, but it's super fun to give and receive presents. I, it's not the reason for the season, of course, but that's my disclaimer. I, I just love Christmas and I love giving presents and seeing how excited people are. The first thing is their Barefoot Dreams rope. So, if you've been watching my channel, specifically my vlogs, you would see my Harry Potter robe, and I'll insert a clip. Um, I've had this Harry Potter robe for probably four or five years now. It's from the men's section at Target, it was $25, and I wear it all the time. Jacob hates it because, I don't know, I mean, it's not like attractive or cute by any means. So, and I just feel like I need to mature. I, mean, I, I do love my Harry Potter robe and I wear it every day, but I figured a Barefoot Dreams robe would be absolutely perfect to add to my possessions, my closet, my loungewear, um, because I do wear my robe every day and I love being comfy and cozy. And this one is just such great quality. It's so comfortable and soft. It's something that I know I'll use forever. So I really want a Barefoot Dreams robe. Um, I don't know if that's exciting or not, but I would literally cry tears of joy if I got one. Um, the next one is a Madewell tote bag. I'll insert the picture here. So this is another item that I've always really wanted and just have never done for myself something that I know I would use every day. I don't really invest in bags too much, but I think it's very important to you for a good everyday bag. And the bag I have, I like it, but it's just like a cheaper like Amazon bag and it's starting to rip and I just don't wanna to have to keep buying something like that. But this maple tote will last me forever. It's genuine leather. Um, I would love to have my monogram on it, but that's not necessary. Um, it's, they're just so cute and a great everyday purse. The next is Brooks running shoes. So I have asked for Brooks running shoes for the past three or four years now and it's such an essential for me, honestly. I, I've always asked for a new pair of tennis shoes each year because they, they wear out very, very quickly and I have found that Brooks are the best for me and the workouts I like to do. Um, it's versatile that I can go run outside, I can run inside, I can do a HIIT workout, and I can also use them on the spin bike. Um, they're comfortable, they last me all year. My ones from this past year are quite dingy, let me tell you. So, it's just something I really like to ask for every single year that I definitely Definitely get my use out of because I wear my tennis shoes every single day. Next, going along with the whole workout trend is a pair of Lululemon leggings. This is another thing I like to ask for Christmas each year. I've been asking and getting a pair of Lululemon leggings every year since probably my freshman year of college. So I've accumulated a good bit, but it's my favorite kind of workout wear. The quality is incredible and it lasts me forever. And like I do work out at least three to five times a week so just having good workout wear and they're so comfortable last year i actually asked for the same pair i'm asking for again this year um they're the wonder under high rise tights and they've got like a scalloped um edge so cute i'll insert the picture 
Um, I got the black ones last year and they're by far my favorite pants to work out in. Just how they hold me in and just make me feel confident and like no issues during my workout. So I just want to ask for a different color this year. Um, probably the navy, but I would take another pair of the black that I already have. <laughs> Honestly, any of them just because they're so great. The last three items are some of my favorite items that I currently own that I just want to be restocked on because I never want to go without them and that is my three favorite skincare items. So I guess about a year and a half ago I started really investing in my skincare and my skin routine. I've become very freakish I guess about um, aging skin and acne and things like that and just giving my skin the good vitamins that it needs and the moisturizer. So my number one skincare item and something I'm asking a refill for for Christmas is the Drunk Elephant Night like Glycerin, Glycerin, I don't know how to say that, but it's the Drunk Elephant Night Serum. I fully believe this is a product that has changed my skin for the better and I'm starting to run them very low and I'm freaking out because I never want to be without it because it's that good. Um, so I would really, really love from Santa Claus to give me um, a night serum again. <laughs> and then the next is the Drug Elephant Day Serum. So this is a vitamin C serum that I use in the morning when I'm getting ready just to really revitalize my skin for the day. And I feel like it really brightens my skin and I absolutely adore it. So I would love for Santa Claus to also give me a refill of that. And then the last item that I'm asking for is the Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream. It's their moisturizer, their original generic one. I'm not really sure. They have two, but this one is my personal favorite. It's just a great quality moisturizer. These items, the Drunk Elephant, they are on the pricier side, so that's why I'm asking for Santa Claus if he wants to get them to me. Um, but love these items. So all of the items, I have like six on my list that I'm asking for. No, seven. Maybe I'm getting a bit needy. It's okay. Um, but all items that I know I will use forever and that are really investing in me and things that I love luxuriously but don't really buy for myself very often. So let me know what you guys are asking for for Christmas this year and if you've made your Christmas list yet and if I'm just crazy and ahead of the game. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.